here because we received a report that a wild beast has been spotted in this area. My team and I are trying to locate it and safely capture it. Kids, don't try this at home. I think I see it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I see it. Oh my goodness. I think I'm losing it. Go, 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 go. As you can probably see, we are non-professionals, adventure seekers. Let me introduce you to my crew. I am known as the Bunny Whisperer, or B for short. And you ask, what is a Bunny Whisperer? Well, for some reason I have this gift that I understand what bunnies or rabbits are saying. I understand if they're hungry, if they have a problem. Basically, they can tell me anything, and I understand bunny. Then we have Chico Gavana. He's the one who tracks our wild beast. He's good at sniffing out trouble, but mostly he sniffs mailboxes, light poles, and especially food. He also loves to nap, um, really, really loves to nap. Then we have Sweet Cake, but she likes to be called Hey. She is my camera lady extraordinaire. She's the one who captures all the scenes. I think I spot one. If we are very quiet, we can actually get close to one. So let's be quiet. Manu, let's see this. Yes. I've never been so close to one. Are you following me? Uh, were you recording me? What? I need a snack. Great, now we lost it. <gasps> She's the one responsible for capturing all the action. Ah, uh, yes, the only one. Now, you are wondering why are we running after wild bees, trying to catch them? Well, let me explain to you. Well, a couple of days ago, Fluffy, a rabbit, saw Skay watching Coyote Peterson, and he got hooked. After binge watching the show for several hours, Fluffy came to tell me he wants to go in wild adventures. Basically, he wanted to do what Coyote Peterson does, but from a distance. I was understanding of his request. I thought it would be a good idea, a good experience for us. You want us to do what? Wild adventures? Like Ayori Peterson? <laughs> what? No. Bunny. No, sweetie, you don't grab it. You're gonna get eaten. I don't want you to get hurt. We can't go on wild adventures. Oh. No, I'm not calling you Bunny Peterson. Your name is Fluffy, not Bunny Peterson. You're so silly. Let's go. Oh. Ay, ay. Oh. <sighs> Fluffy. No, sweetie. You cannot do that. You are a prey animal. You'll get eaten in a second, sweetie. No, you can't do that. <sighs> no. we decided to go in wild adventures. But fla, fla, okay. But Bunny Peterson will be watching from a safe distance. Very, very safe. 
and I will be doing the catching or the running or the rescuing, and he will be just directing us. And that's why we are here. We receive a note, mind you, a lot of misspelling, that a wild beast was roaming in this area, and we are here to see if we can catch it, maybe, and release it in a safe area. So, wait, I hear something, I see it. Let's go, let's go. Apparently, Fluffy, uh, okay, apparently Bonnie Peterson, he sent a note himself about the wild beast on the loose to see if we can catch it, and uh, very funny, Bonnie Peterson, uh, to see if we can catch it, and um, it was just a test, and the good news is that he said uh, we passed. He is Bunny Peterson. Be alert. Stay alive. We'll see you in our next adventure. If you like our very first wild adventure, don't miss our next one where we venture to capture a very mysterious and sneaky creature of the night. I see one over there. Let's go. Let's go, 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 go. Let's go, 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 go. Ah!